brought to you by GTA. We start with you. I'm not who I am because of the uniform I wear or the badge that I put on my uniform. You know, I am who I am because of what my dad made, made um, or what my dad taught me and what God made me. Guam Police Department Criminal Investigation Division Detective Angel Santos was one of the assigned officers to conduct the follow-up investigations on the homicide of teenager Tamika Nauta. Detective Santos was later assigned as one of the case agents for the 2018 incident that occurred on the Nauta family compound located in Dededo. Today, Detective Santos testifies during Brandon Acosta's trial. Acosta was indicted for aggravated murder, criminal sexual conduct, burglary, and home invasion with a special allegation of a deadly weapon for allegedly entering Nauta's makeshift home, burglarizing, raping, and killing her. Santos testifies that Acosta confided in him on personal matters and they shared in religious practices. Being that I was requested or my assistance was requested to, to assist with transport, I uh, met with Brandon and in doing so I informed him that I had a discussion with his brother and that his brother um, wanted to remind him to, uh, to say his prayers. Santos testified that majority of conversations with Acosta occurred during vehicle transports. We talked about that. We talked about our faith. Um, uh, I was give, giving him a different. He was asking about different parables. I you know I spoke to him about uh, Peter on the boat with Jesus walking on water. Other, I can I know that's one of them that sticks on my mind. I can't. I can't recall everything that we talked about. But I, but I know that the the premise for our discussion was our faith. There were no questions, like I said, there was nothing in any kind of official capacity. And while in official capacity, Santos testifies that there were further conversations. However, Acosta was read his rights and he waived his rights, and they spoke on their faith, the passing of Acosta's son, Acosta turning to drugs, and also the night of the incident. He told me that what, he, what had happened, he didn't want, what happened inside, he didn't want, that wasn't his intent, and that it was a mistake. Santos's testimony lasted several hours this afternoon. Trial will continue tomorrow at 9 a.m. with more of the government's witnesses. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.